I'm Matt Kelly for the next year on PodTech.net. We're here at Hybrid Fist at the Alliance Center here in Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm joined here today by Jeff Radke. He is president and owner of Neodymics. Jeff, welcome to the show today. Thank you. Tell us about your electric bike. Um, well, this is actually a self-contained drive unit that can uh, be put on any bicycle. Mm -hmm. um, it includes a hub motor and uh, batteries. Uh, there's a trailing link suspension that's connected up to a, a suspension unit up here. So it pivots about this point and this point. Um, we get about three inches of travel here, so traveling at high speeds, you can uh, hit a pothole and not worry about it so much. What are we um, talking about in terms of speeds for the vehicle? Uh, well, this is our prototype unit. We designed it uh, to basically show what's possible, and this will go up to 27 miles an hour. Wow. Uh, with, with these batteries and this motor. Mm -hmm. It's a dual speed motor. The, the speed is switched up here. Mm -hmm. um, so you can put it in the low speed to go up a hill. So you, it's a one horsepower drive, so it'll get you up pretty much any hill uh, pretty rapidly. With this type of device on your bicycle, do you need any special licensing, like a motorcycle license then, in order to be able to ride or drive this? Depends on the locality. Mm -hmm. um, here in Wisconsin, it's uh, considered a motor bicycle and you just need a, an operator's license. Mm -hmm. um, if it's below 20 miles an hour, a lot of places it's considered a bicycle, so you don't need an operator's license. While safety is obviously always a major concern and you'd want to wear a helmet, would there be a requirement to wear a helmet with this type of uh, device? Um, not in this state. Okay. <laughs> it's a state-by-state -state uh, yeah. issue then. Okay. Talk to me more about this, uh, uh, this device you've uh, designed. Um, well, the nice thing about it is that it snaps on and off the bike with uh, toggle clamps. Mm. There's a toggle clamp on each dropout on the fork, and then there's a toggle clamp on the handlebar. So it's a secure three-point attachment. Um, with the suspension, it puts very little stress on the bicycle frame or in the rider. Um, a nice thing, one nice thing about it is you can take this off and put your regular wheel back on the bicycle, and that can be that change can be completed in just one minute. Mm -hmm. so, so this is something that you would uh, customize yourself at home. Is that correct? Um, well, it's it's very easy to adjust it through the frame of the bicycle with uh, the clamps. There's a clamp here for adjusting the position of the throttle control with respect to the handlebar. Mm -hmm. There's a clamp here for adjusting this handlebar clamp, so it'll fit basically any frame geometry. Mm -hmm. And is this something that you're offering through mail order nationwide? Um, we have plans to do that. Okay. Uh, right. Currently, this, this is the first one we've built. So. And what are you expecting for uh, manufacturer's suggested retail price of this device? Um, we're hoping to aim for a thousand dollar retail oh, price. Oh. And the response that you're getting in the marketplace to it? Um, well, we haven't actually offered it at that price yet, mm -hmm. but uh, um, we've done a, a kind of a web survey and. Uh, seems to be pretty favorable. Mm -hmm. the and the uh, lifetime of the batteries? Um, well, th this particular battery is, is very good lifetime. You can discharge this battery fully and recharge it. Um, it recharges only an hour. You can do that uh, uh, 2,000 times with this battery, which is very, very Lead unusual. Lead acid, nickel metal hydride, or lithium? Uh, th these are lithium iron phosphate batteries right. manufactured by uh, DeWalt and actually A123 Systems is the company that makes the cells inside the pack. And they well, your final thoughts on the device and the opportunity that it represents to free Americans from uh, uh, foreign oil and to actually uh, improve transportation in this country. Well, I think that uh, um, you know, bicycles travel at low speeds and uh, average speed in urban commuting is pretty low too. Um, a lot of people don't want to work up a sweat to get to work, but this can alleviate that. It can let you get to work using a bicycle, quiet, uh, efficient transportation, and uh, you can work up a sweat on the way home if you want. So. <laughs> Very good. Jeff Radke from Neodymics. It's a pleasure having you, you on the show today. Thank you. Best of luck with your device. Thank you. For the next year, I'm Matt Kelly on podtech.net.